Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone. I hope that you're doing great and you're enjoying your time with your family. Today, inshallah, we will be taking the last grammar and this is the last video for this semester. And inshallah, we will be taking about the superlatives and we will learn uh, about the uh, other comparative structures. So by the end of this uh, lesson, you are supposed, my beloved student, to use the superlatives properly and answer the questions. Now look at this video, look at this uh, amazing snails. They are so wonderful. We have three snails. Now, the first snail is slow. The second snail is slower than the first snail. But look at the third snail, it is the slowest, but it is the prettiest. Look at the slow, the slowest snail, it is the prettiest. Now the spelling rules, high, the highest, the highest, big, the biggest. Now if you look at the word the biggest here, the adjective, plus EST, we have to add another G because here the adjective have, has three letters in the middle we have a vowel we have to add the last letter again before we have to add EST you have to pay attention for this rule and safe the safest safe the safest just we have to add ST noisy the noisiest, we have to delete Y and add I-E-S-T. You have to pay attention for this. If you have the last letter in the adjective, if we have Y, and before the Y we have consonant, not adjective, not a vowel letter. If we have consonant, here we have S, so we have to delete Y and put I-E-S-T. Pay attention for this rule too. Exciting, it is a more, has more than one syllable, so we have to add most exciting, the most exciting. We can't put EST for the adjective that has more than one syllable, exciting. Dangerous, the most dangerous, the same idea here, the most dangerous. Good, it's irregular, we have to add the best. And bad, we have to add the worst. Bad, we have to add the worst. Now, we use uh, the superlative form. We use it to compare one thing to two or more than one thing. Or one person to two or more than one person. Okay? So, we have to use superlative form to compare between one to two or more than one thing, or to compare one person to two or more than one person. First, if we have one syllable adjective like tall and big, or adverb like fast or hard, how do we form the super superlative? Look at this rule. We have to add first noun, which is the subject at the beginning of the sentence, auxiliary, again, we have to put is RM, was where, plus the plus adjective plus EST. Here we have one syllable adjective or a small adjective, short adjective, plus EST or the plus adverb plus EST plus complement. Look at these examples. Hani is the tallest boy in the class. Here we, com we compare um, Hani, okay, uh, um, among his friends in the class, okay? He's the tallest boy in the whole class. Man is the biggest, man, sorry, man is the biggest city in Jordan. Man is the biggest city in Jordan, okay? Three, basketball is the fastest game in the world. Basketball is the fastest game in the world. Number two, more than one syllable adjective like beautiful, exciting, comfortable, and more and so on. Now, 
plus auxiliary plus the most or the least plus adjective plus complement. Look at these examples. Again, here we have to put the most or the least plus adjective plus complement. One, football is the most exciting sport in the world. Football is the most exciting sport in the world. Here we add, we add the plus most plus the adjective which has the long adjective or the adjective that has more than one syllable. Two, rugby is the least exciting sport in the world. Rugby is the least exciting sport in the world. Okay, now look at this table. Some adjectives and adverbs are irregular and form their comparative and superlative in different ways. This table, you have to memorize it very well. Okay, because we have irregular adjective and irregular adverb, and if you want to um, to form the convertive or superlative, we have different uh, rules from what we have learned previously. So look at the first one, good or well, the comparative form is better, superlative the best, bad, badly, worse, the worst, many, you have to say more, the most, much more, the most, li little, less, the least, far, farther, or further, the farther, the furthest. You have to memorize this table very well. Now, let's go to this exercise. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the adjective. Rodney is, space, boy in the family, in the family. We want to convert Rod Rodney to the whole family. So we have the adjective that. What is the suitable form that we have to add it here? Yes, correct. It is the fattest boy in the family. Is, is the fattest boy in the family. Here you have to pay attention that we have the adjective, short adjective, and in the middle here we have vowel. If you have three, three letters and in the middle we have a vowel, A-O-U-I-E, you have to uh, uh, um, add an, an, the, you have to uh, add T-E-E-S-T -E here before, you have to add T before adding the E-S-T form of the superlative. Okay, now the second one, Rami's story was space of them all. Rami's story was space of them all. I want to compare uh, Rami's story to the other's story, to all of them, okay? So I'm using, I'm using. So Rami's story was the most amusing uh, of them, was the most amusing of them all, okay? The most amusing of them all. The most. Why we add here the most? The most because we have a uh, syllable, uh, an, an adjective uh, which has more than one syllable. Okay, or long adjective. Okay, now let's go to talk about other comparative structures. We have other comparative structures as plus adjective or adverb plus as. Okay, now we use this form, okay, to show that two people or two things are similar in some way. Okay, if I want to say that Ahmed is as tall as Muhammad, here I mean that they have the same tall. Okay. How do we form, uh, how is the form of this um, uh, structure? Noun plus verb to be, here verb to be you have to add is, are, am, was, where, plus as, plus adjective, plus as, plus noun. Usama is as tall as Hassan. Usama is as tall as Hassan. Usama isn't as tall as Hassan. Here, I mean, when I say Usama isn't as tall as Hassan, that Hassan is taller than Usama. 
Or we can say Usama is shorter than Hassan. Okay? So at the beginning here, Usama is as tall as Hassan. They are, they are the same tallness. And here, Usama isn't as tall as Hassan. That means that Hassan is taller than Usama. Or you can say Usama is shorter than Hassan. Uh, uh, look at the adverb, also the same idea here. We have to add noun first at the beginning of the sentence plus verb. In the adverb, the same idea for the convertible and superlative forms. We mentioned that before that the, uh, if we want to form the superlatives in the adverbs, not in the adjectives, here we have to put after the noun verb. Not like in the adjective we have to add uh, verb to be or auxiliary. A plus as, plus adverb, plus as, plus noun. Look at these examples. Rami works as hard as Muhammad. Rami works as hard as Muhammad. As hard as Muhammad. Rami doesn't work as hard as Muhammad. That means that Muhammad works harder than Rami. Okay. Now let's go to this exercise. Use as as in these sentences. English is difficult. German is difficult. How do we form this? By using as, as. The car is expensive. The boat is expensive. Please, pause the video here. Take a few minutes. Try to do this, these sentences. They are so simple. Then come back to check your answers. Okay, now let's do these sentences together to check your answers. The first one, English is difficult, German is difficult. That means that English is as difficult as German. Okay, so here we can say that English is as difficult as German. Okay, so this is the first sentence. The, the, the second one, the car is expensive, the boat is expensive. How do we form this? Yes, correct. I can hear your voices. The car, the car is as expensive as the boat. Okay. So if you notice here the adjective difficult, expensive, they are long adjective or has more than one syllable we don't have any changes between the long adjective or the short adjective which has one syllable or if the adjective has more than one syllable uh, just you have to add adjective in the middle and put as as between the adjectives and thanks a lot for your great listening this is all what we have for today thank you so much my beloved student uh, have a nice uh, day and please study hard. Don't hesitate to ask me and the boys don't hesitate to ask Mr. Rami if you have any questions. And please don't forget to do these worksheets that I've sent on the WhatsApp group. We have the, wor the first worksheet is about the superlative conversion of adjective and adverbs. Okay, this is the summary of the, uh, of the rule. And here we have an exercise. Please do it and send it to me. To check your answers and also we have another worksheet here for the as plus adjective adverb plus as also please try to do this exercise it's so simple and thank you so much this is all what we have assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh